Hello everybody, you see that we do something a little bit different right now and what you see is that you do not see me. <laughs> that is because today it is too warm. My cat just had surgery yesterday and I'm taking care of him. He's doing fine by the way. He's lying right next to me purring so he's a champ and I was just not in the mood to put on makeup but I had a little epiphany that I wanted to share with you right away. It is something that is happening to me right now in this very moment while manifesting and it's such a stupid thing and it's actually I am waiting for a package. It's just a normal package. It's nothing even important in there. It's a new stand for my microphone for those videos for example the astrology videos i got the email from the package delivery my package would be delivered today somewhat between i think it was like 1 15 and 40 like 40 30 would be 2 30 pm and of course it didn't come and then later on i got an email that was like oh your parcel your package would be with you in like 15 minutes and that was like 80 minutes ago that my package would be here in 15 minutes and when I go online the time is just getting later and later and later and now it is supposed to be here at like 3 40 p.m. all of a sudden you know it just keeps on getting later and I was like okay I'm a manifester why is it getting later well the thing is I was waiting for it I was keeping my not my entire life on hold but you could say I was keeping my day on hold I'm fasting right now I'm doing the 16 to 8 method and I was allowed to eat at like 3 p.m. which for me right now would be like 15 minutes ago and I wanted to start cooking I wanted to make a vegan lasagna right now but I didn't make it because when I'm in the kitchen I may not hear the doorbell so I was putting that off and my lasagna is still not ready I'm hungry as hell right now it's in the oven I just eventually had the epiphany oh my god your package is not coming because you're waiting because you're putting everything on hold I did not get online with the psychic hotlines to talk to client because I of course do not want to get interrupted by the doorbell ringing so I wasn't eating or cooking rather I wasn't working I was just waiting that's all I did I was waiting I was doing tiny chores in my household nothing really big I still have a bigger to-do list to do and that's the thing and right now it's just a small thing it's just a stupid package being late and I realize why it is being late because it just taught me the lesson again of what happens when you're waiting you know then I was like half-heartedly using affirmations oh my package is coming right now it's right now universe I am the operant power of my life my package is right now coming right now but I was doing it in the lack mentality like I was annoyed that it wasn't right there and we know manifesting is not used to fix problems you manifest in order to create the life you want and you cannot really manifest anything out of frustration and the same thing goes if you're for example waiting for your person to reach out if you're keeping your life on hold your person is not going to come nothing is going to come when you're in the lack of yeah, in, in any lack of mentality when you're waiting for him, when you're constantly checking the 3D and all of that, like I did, I went online again. So, okay, did I get another email? Because then I thought, well, it's not that big. Maybe they just put it into my, my uh, letter box. It might fit. And then I'm, of course, waiting, but I already got it. That doesn't seem to be the case. And then I kept checking the 3D, you know, reloading the page. When is it going to come? time keeps keeps getting later and later and later and the thing is in the big things I keep on living my life you know I don't actively wait I learned a while back not to keep my life on hold I used to do that as well but sometimes we need that little reminder right now maybe that happened to me also to record this message for you I always told my clients it's just an example imagine you want to learn dancing and you imagine you want to do that with your specific person well don't wait for them to go dancing take dance classes right now and then when your specific person is there you can learn another dance or you just um, help him catch up you know and you can still dance with him and that is for anything i learned a while back 
I love going to the movie theaters. I mean, I study film theory and I didn't really have people to go because my friends often were working a different working hours or they couldn't afford it. And then at one point I was like, yeah, I had a re realization. I missed so many concerts and movies I wanted to see because nobody wanted to go. And one day I decided no more. And then I just decided to go to the movies by myself or to concerts if I want to go. And I have to say the first couple of times going to the movies by myself was a little bit weird. I felt like, okay, people are staring at me because I'm alone. And thank God I'm a woman because I sometimes like going to see kids movies, not like little, little kids movies, but you know, like kids movies. And if I were a single guy, that might be a little creepy going to a kids movie all by myself. <laughs> But it was just like the first time was awkward, the second time was a little bit less awkward and then it turned out to be completely normal and it was that empowering feeling of no, I do not have to wait for anyone to take me to the movies or my friends don't have time or they don't want to see that particular movie, I can still see it, I can go to that concert and then even traveling the first time I traveled by myself was not wanted it was because I wanted to meet a friend in London who is from the US and then she had to cancel last minute because that dog was really sick and she didn't know if her dog would survive it actually didn't unfortunately and so of course she canceled I would have canceled also if it were my cats obviously but I already had booked everything I already had paid everything so I was like okay well then I'm going to London by myself and then it just turned normal so when I want to go to any place I decided I don't have to wait I just need to live and even if your person still doesn't come right away at least in the meantime you had a good time you went dancing you went to go to concerts and enjoyed your bands your favorite bands playing you saw those amazing movies you wanted to see or sometimes they didn't turn out as amazing but you still you made the experience so waiting if any form is keeping your manifestation away of course sometimes you check for a moment okay is there anything happening no you're human that is okay you did not destroy your entire manifestation if you ever so often every couple of weeks or month maybe like check something if it's a big manifestation um small manifestation should not take that long you didn't ruin everything but if you constantly check like every couple of days it is not going to come. It is impossible for mani your manifestation to come. You will wait for your stupid package for way too long. Once I realized that, then I was like, okay, I'm just going to be make sure everything is extra quiet. I'm going to go to the kitchen. I'm going to prepare my lasagna to put it into the oven. And when everything else is quiet, like I have no music or everything, I'm going to hit a doorbell. But I'm really hungry. I can't wait any longer. <laughs> so my lasagna is in the oven right now. And after that, of course, I can talk to some clients. I still d wouldn't want to go online, but I'm sure that I will make up for that time. I will have clients calling me later. Why? Because I am a master manifester and I create my freaking reality. Don't I? Yes, I do. <laughs> and so do you. So please don't wait, go out, have fun, meet your friends. Because when you have fun, it's not just that you're no longer in the waiting energy. Waiting energy equals lack energy equals thing, person not coming. But when you have fun, you also show the universe, look universe, I deserve having a good time. And the universe is reading your energy. So instead of Oh, everything sucks and I'm waiting you will attract more situations where you have to wait for things or situations that make you feel unpleasant but if you make sure that you have fun and you do something that you enjoy then you show the universe look universe I deserve to have a fun time I'm taking care of myself and then the universe can mirror that back to you and will give you more fun experiences and that's another thing remember your person especially if it is a specific person but also if it's money 
very strongly connected to your self worth you know being worthy of money being worthy of love and if you don't treat yourself and treat yourself i don't mean spend money you don't have treating yourself can be any little thing it can be just go meet a friend for coffee and have fun instead of sitting at home staring at his phone because he promised you to call yesterday and you didn't so you're staying at home because he may call you today no you're telling the universe i deserve to have fun and when you learn to treat yourself well he or money <laughs> The universe is able to reflect that back to you. Oh, you're worthy of having a good time. Now he can mirror you. Wow, you're worthy of being the chosen one for me. You're worthy of being my spouse. If you don't go out and have fun, then you're showing the universe, I'm not worthy of having a good time. How the hell do you expect your person to mirror to you that you are absolutely worthy in their eyes? They simply cannot do that. So you go out, have fun, stop waiting, cook your freaking lasagna while you wait for your package. <laughs> it will come eventually, it will come. And yeah, that was a longer talk, pep talk than I had expected. Anyway, I hope you understand what I was trying to say. I originally recorded this video on a Thursday, <laughs> but I wanted to tell you how it eventually happened, right? So that thursday i didn't receive my package i was refreshing the page and eventually it said sorry we cannot deliver it today to you we will deliver it tomorrow it didn't come on friday at all but on friday i wasn't waiting i don't even know i don't remember what i was doing on friday today is tuesday but on saturday on saturday i went to go to the pet store i needed cat food and i took my time and the cat store actually or the pet store is close to my parents house so i went there and i just wanted to drop something off for my mom but then my brother and i we started talking and i was there way way longer than i had expected to be there so i knew kind of like yeah the package was going to come that day because i got another email on saturday morning your package is going to come today but on saturday i did not wait i went out to do my course and as i said i was just talking to my brother and talking and talking making plans for this week to go to the movies tomorrow and i don't know how long i was there maybe for like two hours and it was not planned and then i got home and i ate something and right after i was done eating and i was putting the stuff away into my fridge my package came perfect timing why did it come at the perfect time because that day I did not wait I just assumed it will come at the perfect time and then it did so it's the law of assumption but again when you wait you wait for a long time but as soon as you step into the energy yeah it will come in due time and it will come at the perfect timing then that is going to happen subscribe to my channel I do have a lot of videos actually that I already recorded I will have many manifestation video um, yeah manifestation videos as well i wanted to say meditation videos and i decided to do each one multiple times you know like as a subliminal a longer nighttime version a daytime version so there will be lots of different yeah meditation videos hoping that they will help you create your dream life check it out check out my other stuff if you are on the twin flame or any kind of soul journey please check out my twin flame 101 playlist check out my astrology videos of course i am still available for personal coaching i know it has been a little bit quiet here ah, summertime i always feel a little bit tired then at that time and i felt a lot of things energies working within myself and i just needed a little bit of a break <laughs> but i have a bunch of stuff stuff already planned and already a lot of stuff that i recorded that i just need to cut and then upload so stay tuned and i see you in another video or in a personal coaching and in another video you will get to see me of course again but i think i'm going to do this more often now because sometimes i do have spontaneous ideas and i'm just not in the mood to get in front of the camera and that specific day and that's too bad 
I'm still going to record videos with me obviously but sometimes it just should be more spontaneous right so make sure you subscribe for those as well and now I'll let you go have a fun day go out have fun don't wait and it will come to you I wish you all the best now bye bye